Hey, wonderful people, we're back here again talking about manifestation and law of attraction and one of the most powerful things that's either going to help you be satisfied with your manifestations and keep them or not is positivity and negativity. So what do I mean by positivity and negativity? You can be a good person and still be negative because you're going to look for the negative. If you're the kind of person that looks for flaws in people, if you're the kind of person that looks for flaws in situations, if you're the kind of person that looks for flaws in society, because that's the first thing you'll see when you um, become a conscious adult. You'll start to notice all the flaws and all the lies you've been told when you were a child. It's a phase, hopefully it's a phase, and you come right out of it. Because if you constantly do that, Yes, you're going to be manifesting a lot of stuff in your life because you're, that's where you're going to go because that's where you're looking. That's where your attention is. You don't want that. You don't want to. And you could be the best manifester in the world. You could manifest amazing things. And I have. And I have seen others do it too. Hey, <laughs> I have an uncle that won the lottery. The grand freaking prize. But he doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> Things happen, man. Yeah, big stuff can be yours. But if you're not positive, if you're not looking, always looking to be positive, if you're not looking for the positive, if you're not looking to bring love into your life, I know I'm mushy, gushy, lovey, dovey, but it's not like that. It's the things you love. If you are looking for things to love, you are positive. If you're looking for things to hate, things to aggravate you, then you're negative. Now, the philosophy is, and this is where it gets stuck a lot, that, well, if I look for the negative things, then I can erase them. Then I can I can tackle them. I can cover them up. I can, you know, a lot of women, they, they look at their faces and they look for all the negatives. That's the programming and that's actually what works because if you look for all the negatives, you can cover them all up. <laughs> but you have to look for the positives too. They do realize that and you, if you have high cheekbones, you can accentuate the highness of your cheekbones, but it's all about looking for the negative. Uh, in some circumstances, but you can't make that your life. You can't always make, you can't make life, a positive life out of negative stuff, right? It's not going to work. Believe me, I've tried it, okay? <laughs> yeah, you can't make a life out of negative stuff. And when it comes to the law of attraction, it is a, it is a killer it is a killer because you can manifest the best stuff in your life, the most amazing stuff in your life, and then you can nix it. You can cut it off. You can, ima you can manifest monstrous, monstrous sums of money that you then lose. Great. Your dreams can come true and you can kill them with negativity. So how does this look? Well, it looks like this. Um, you, you do what you have to do to manifest something. You, you try these techniques, right? Everybody's got techniques all over the place. And the ones I put in, they have definitely worked for me. I'm loading up these videos with all the best stuff first. I will, you know, make other videos about it and talk more about it. But I'm loading these babies up with the best stuff first. So people can get the gold first, the silver second, <laughs> you know, we're, and we're not going to do bronze. <laughs> well, actually, that's probably um, necessary in some cases, too. I want everybody to have the best tools for the best lives that they can have. And where was I about this whole thing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can manifest the greatest things, but if you are constantly on the negative side of things, you're constantly looking for it to fail. Your mind, your ego, first of all, your ego, which is, it's not the bad guy. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's, it's going to say, hey, man, <laughs> we need to look for all the bad things because that's what we do. 
that's what's safest. And I want to be safe. And I want to, now that you have a big pile of money in the bank account, I want you to be safe. And you need to be terrified with all this money. You need to be terrified of losing it because you're probably going to lose it unless you do and find something incredible. You know, this, this is it. This is it. And you're going to manifest from that. Not only are you going to manifest from that, but your brain is going to start looking for proof for that nonsense. And then when it finds it, then you have a belief. If you own that proof, you say, oh, that's true, then it's yours. And now you're manifesting from that. Yeah, it gets bad. And you just manifested something fantastic. Maybe one of the biggest dreams of your life. A dream that will never come up round again it could be a marriage it could be a child it could be it could be some educational milestone that was previously unthinkable okay and then you, it just got ruined because of negativity that almost happened to me i went for a master's degree and i almost killed it because of the negativity i had to go i had to be forced to do positive if i didn't do if i didn't go positive I was going to lose the master's degree and I was going to be bounced out of the program in humiliation. <laughs> but I, I was forced to, I was forced to turn around and be positive and look for all the positives. And it, what didn't come natural to me, because I grew up in pretty negative situations, my, my home life, well, my childhood was pretty positive, but my friends around me were totally negative. Um, now I'm not even going to go into all that, but it didn't come natural to me. And so I had to fight my way through finding how to be positive, how to look for the positives and cling to them with a death grip and then look for the next positive and cling to that one with a death grip and just keep going forward like that. And that's how I got through that. That's how I got through that. Positive. I got to the negative. That was easy. I just looked for all the flaws and all the reasons why everything and everyone was against me and moaned about everything. And then you complain about everything and then you rant on everything. You're going to, you're going to manifest from all your complaints. You're going to manifest from all your moaning and groaning. You're going to manifest from the belief that uh, things really are against you, even if you didn't believe it in the first place, but you started moaning and groaning about it so many times that you started to believe it. Now you manifest it from that. And now you're going to get all that stuff. And now you, your mind and your ego are going to go, see, I told you you were a loser. I told you this wasn't going to work out. I told you this was a bad idea. And then if you own that, then you manifest more of that. Not good, man. Not good. You can you can gain the world in one hand and lose it in another. This is really, 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 really. It is really the most important thing that has shaped the the presence of my life. It is the end all, be all. Because all these manifestational techniques, man, they they do not cut it. They won't cut it because they'll give you what you want. And then because if you're too negative, you'll throw it all away. Not only that, it's hard to manifest through negativity. You're going to you're gonna need a bunch of these techniques to bust through the wall to get things that you want going. A lot of people are like, why isn't this new age, you know, manifestation, law of attraction stuff working for me? It could be because one of the prime reasons is probably because you're negative. You have too many negatives. You're looking for the negative. You're looking for it to fail. Okay? You're looking for everything to fail. And so the universe does because the universe is you. It's just your reflection. If you're looking for it, you're going to see it. It's like looking in the mirror. If you're looking in the mirror for yourself, you're going to see. Oh, <laughs> you're going to see you. Don't yell at the reflection. It's not wrong. You know, nobody looks into the mirror and sees something they don't like and says, that's not true. It must be the mirror. <laughs> mirror. It's the, it's the reflection's fault. The reflection is 40 pounds overweight. I'm not. Come on now. Nobody does that, right? Because it's a simple situation. But we do that with the universe all the time. It's the same situation. Positive brings more positive. Negative brings more negative. It's a simple 
It's a, the simplest equation you can have, and yet it eluded me for so, so long in so many different ways. I mean, I, I went positive, and then I went negative, and then I went positive, and then I went negative. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't go for your dreams on positive. Always look for the positive. Always look for it. It's always there. It's always out there somewhere. Um, I'm uh, debating on whether I should, it's, it's over 10 minutes now, should I just continue and tell you how? One day later. Here we go. Yeah, I needed to think about that one, didn't I? Yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot in there. A lot of very valuable stuff. It needs to be its own video. It needs to, it, it, I can't cut it short and just throw it out there and be done with it. So it's going to be in its own video. That's part two of positive versus negative.